So Tim, I'm actually going to give you guys an update on the 45F. It's been so long, and the last video you guys got was me escaping this and starting the dry start, and that was about over two months now. And so it's actually been dry starting ever since. I just haven't been able to been able to buy the rest to set this tank up so i just literally have left it dry starting and so today is just a little update you guys to show like how much it's filled and obviously you can see it's actually overgrown now and i'm actually gonna be trimming today which i already started back here so you can see it's way flatter but yeah so the sides you can see it's about an inch thick carpet already through here and that's without no water at all in it that's just purely dry start so obviously it's just getting big beginning too crazy and I'll show you guys a couple, because you probably guys see a couple other plants. But, yeah, so basically I'm trimming it. it this tank's not the easiest to trim, I will say, like, at least in the, around these edges. So I kind of have to use my, my moss shears and kind of get around some of the more harder to get areas. But I think, I think it's just a little bit time consuming, but I think it's fine at the end of the day. I think, I think it's just going to ha have to take a little more time to do this tank, when we, especially when we run CO2, because obviously once... Once CO2 starts running this tank, it's going to grow even crazier, so, which brings up the question if I even should run CO2 in this tank, if it's going to, you know, because obviously, I think Q will do just fine without it, um, if, you know, under the right conditions, but, but I'll still put CO2 on this tank, of course, but, but yeah, it's looking all pretty good, though. You can see it gets covered everything now so you can even see it's you know creeping down the rocks and all those things so basically the look i was kind of going for but obviously a little too early right now to do that so i just need to trim it all back and it won't look great after i trim it but that's just what we're gonna have to do and it being kind of wet makes it kind of well it not being underwater makes it kind of harder too because it just wants it all compact and stuff and you kind of have to hand remove it all the trimming so but yeah, then this is um, Hydrophila Chai. Some of you guys might have already seen this because ADA sold it for a little bit. It was the first time them selling Hydra Chai. It is a really expensive tissue culture. It usually runs about 100 a cup. Um, at its cheapest, 80 bucks. That's when they're like about to get spoiled though. So like when they need to get rid of them before, you know, they turn bad. That's when they'll like drop into like 80 and stuff. But usually you're paying about 100 bucks a cup. Aquaforce, ADA started producing them. And they were about 30, 35, I think, somewhere in there. And I picked up a cup, and the rest basically sold out within a day. But yeah, we got two, two um, stems up here, growing in here, dry starting. But you can see like the new growth on that one, and I and that's a bigger reason why I'm trimming this too. Is obviously you can see some of it's getting buried. I don't, I do not want to lose that plant. So, so yeah, so I'll, I'll come back. I won't really do a time lapse. I don't think there's really no point in this. But I'll come back to you guys after I trim it all, and I kind of give it give you guys a little more of an update and we'll talk to you then so i got it all trimmed so it doesn't look the prettiest but it's just kind of what we have to do when it's not flooded it's kind of more difficult to trim when it's actually like this than it is when it's flooded but yeah i did basically the best i could but it actually does look not that bad when you stand back it actually it's pretty good to be honest but yeah you see how thinner it is now i didn't want to get too crazy because i don't want to like mess it up or anything but Basically, just got as thin as I could around there. Some places are probably a little thicker than others, but you can see like where the yellow is. I basically try to trim a thing where it has like a light yellowing at the top. That's where obviously like you know some of the growth didn't get full light from being absolutely buried. So that's good. Then you can see the hydro tri is finally out now. So I kind of after I did trim, I actually compressed the carpet a little bit so you know it's a little more flat. So yeah. So hopefully the I had to try my actually growing even better now. Who knows? We'll see. And now that it's actually really exposed like that, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so basically, the only reason I haven't set this up like sooner, or, you know, at least flooded it, it's just like cost and it's really not that much money at all. But it's just one of those things I've been doing so, so much other things as you guys have been seeing that just this this has been put to the side a little bit. But basically, the only thing is I need a ADA lily pipe at intake. I already have the outtake. And I just need the CO2, the paintball setup, the same one I put on the 60F, so just a paintball canister, and then I need a GLA um, paintball regulator, and, you know, the diffuser and everything else, but that's all about 250 and then the lid pipe's going to be about 100 so it's only it's not that bad, 350 away from actually, like, go ahead and fill in this, but hopefully, I really don't know what's all going to come next. Hopefully, like, my 60F, which you guys saw the rescape on, 
that should be up and going first just because i already have all the stuff for it i'm just letting the cuba dry start in here which is doing pretty good um but after that then this should be definitely the next setup we see it and then of course when i do flood it i'll definitely make a video on that for sure and completing that whole setup but yeah other than that i just want to make make this video real, real long um if you have any questions about this setup or if, if you have any questions in general definitely hit me up in the comment section or you can hit me up on instagram at jjcrimes but other than that i'll see you guys on the next one